I, I don't know. Um, are you guys standing by the dog? I mean, you seem to be saying that it's, it's legit. I've never seen Zed fuck up. Zed, Zed does good work. And if he says it's true, I believe him. It's just one of those days We don't wanna wake up Everything is fucked, everybody's stuck You don't really know why, but you ain't justified Don't you make content If you interact, you're like a contract The best place to stay away, motherfucker That was the thing, they had no... Zed had found the uh, Ashanari, or Shaughnessy, or whatever the fuck, uh, name Some time ago, but he didn't want to post it because he couldn't confirm it and what did confirm it is that eventually Jim J E M was identified, and uh, through voting records, it matched the address we had for for James. And in addition to that, there was marketing data, like these Spokio and fast people search websites. What they do is they buy marketing data that uh, advertising companies will use to uh, better advertise to people. And they'll actually organize that as a sort of white pages to basically dox everybody and, and their their uh, marketing information to sell back to people doing background searches. And Jim and Jim had been associated incidentally by this background search. So you have you have several uh, interlapping points of a verification to say that this name is is so yeah. now I, I saw that on the thread but then i saw somebody else say it said it said had mister in front of uh the alleged name for jade look i i don't know i, I don't know um are you guys standing by the dog i mean you seem to be saying that it's, it's legit i've never seen zed fuck up zed zed does good work and if he says it's true i believe him but this this one has been Totally around for like four or five years. It's already on his ED article. Yes. It's not new. No, it's not new, but the verification is now. But is it really? I mean, that seems like a really common Asian name. Jem right? like, E. Lee? E. Lee? I, I doubt it. I, I mean, the last name Lee, I've never heard the first name Jem before. And the the coincidence that she's living in Minnesota and is in is associated with this uh James guy who somebody from the Medicare day says is Jim's real name I mean it could be a, a deep cover fake docs from years ago but uh Jim uh, back in the Medicare days posted his birthday and if you want a pro tip from me to you regarding never getting ducks never post your birthday because the the number of people named Jim born on the day that Jim was is like five in the entire country. So it really narrows it down. And that specific Jim having a, a marketable relationship with a Jim who is an Asian woman uh, that uh, associates to the Twitter identity, that's unlikely. I mean, I can't, I can't say with 100.0% certainty that it's him. Uh, but as far as disproving this, this theory, I can't, I can't find anything substantive that would disprove it. Played it exactly as you would play it. Even if, if they're fake, if they're real, you give the same response. You laugh it off. You go on stream, you, you know, you fuck around and make oh, I, I loved his response video. Real. And I, I mentioned this in chat before when we were waiting for the stream to start, because it started at a good hour for me. I was like, I would actually be really sad if this was his final stream, because I do enjoy his content. Yeah, now let me read the quote back because I think you said some people are saying you're mad. I, I think this is what uh, got that going. Uh, Bob Barker, I read this at the top of the show, but I'll reread it since you're here. Uh, Bob Barker, he's a commenter there on Kiwi Farm, said, Are you really complaining that Jim threw some light banter at the farms, the autistic exceptional individuals who fucked up the re reveal of the docs? Jim didn't want to be docs, so doxing him was taking a shot at him. What did you expect him to say? Good job, boys. You really got me on this one. Of course he's going to give well, a shit for having to go. No, wait, wait, let me let me read your quote. You said, I do not like liars. I don't care about banter, and I don't care if Jim wants his name out there, but I find it a bit tactless to say we were wrong to try to save face. You can say it's expected. Perhaps it is, but this entire ordeal makes me wish people had just not bothered. It's been a pain in the ass dealing with this shit. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I, I do find it a bit tactless. Am I surprised he did it? Am I mad he did it? Not really. I imagine that, like, that's the probably the best possible response is the uh, uh just try and say that we didn't do it or we didn't do it right he didn't actually say he didn't deny it at any point um so i guess that post was a bit off the mark because he did not ever deny the information he was very sarcastic through it which gives people the uh inclination that it's not correct um 
you know, I, I, I do try to make sure that everything posted on the site is accurate, especially when it's something important like this. And when I look at uh, the work people have done to to identify them, it's it seems accurate. And it, it's unfortunate that people are are very almost sort of uh, sycophantic when it comes to defending Jim and saying that he's untox undoxable. And it's just not the case, especially in the U.S. Well, first off, well, anybody is doxable, um, pretty much, especially if you go online and, and speak and, and stuff like that. And there are, you know, years and years of you being online. I, I, I'm, I've seen enough people get doxed that I don't put it out there that, that anybody's undoxable. Um, but oh, yeah, so let me just, sorry to interrupt, but somebody, the, people keep saying I have a personal stake in it. Well, my personal stake is that I, I run my little forum and I like it to have a, have a reputation for honesty and, and doing work that is uh, verifiable and independently verifiable. And I think this is, I think anybody can look at the information that's been published and come to their own conclusions. Uh, my personal stake ends there. I, I like Jim. I've had good conversations with him. I would enjoy coming onto his stream this weekend. Just saying, uh, I, I have no benefit in, in having this information on the site, but I can't censor it because that's what the site's about. So, well, yeah, well, that's another, I mean, look, getting mad at Kiwi Farms for doing Kiwi Farms things. I mean, that's like, I mean, I guess um, you can't be hypocritical about it. So I understand that part of it. But what about uh, his stream was tackless, though? What did you mean about that? Oh, well, I guess I should take that back. I, I, it sounds like I'm, I'm walking it back. I guess that I am because like it was obviously a joke, the whole giving credit to the crackhead guy. Because he, I mean, he was going on about it. I hadn't seen him on the uh, the kill stream, but uh, yeah, that post was made in frustration. It wasn't made in frustration at Jim, though. It was made in frustration in general at how the community was having and fighting over it, and I, I was I was annoyed at that. Well, yeah, if you look at the thread, there are still people saying it's fake. You know, is it real? I mean, we're having the same conversation on on the yeah. program. I mean, I, I think that the conversation will probably continue, but. Yeah, it'll probably be 50-50 for a time to come. I don't think anybody's ever going to, you know, they're not going to come together and agree that something is fake or true, uh, especially how much misinformation there has been on Jim over the years. I don't think anybody will ever uh, fully agree that it's true. But I guess, uh, well, I mean, if you walk back the tackless comment, then, I mean, it's really no point. But I guess my, what I said at the top, though, is what is, I mean, what's he supposed to say? So if it's fake... Then of course he he should do a stream just like that, laughing at it, mocking it, you know, spotlighting the information. Then again, if it's real, you could argue you should do the same thing and just laugh it off and and neither confirm nor deny and and do almost the same thing no matter what. So I mean, you can't shield somebody. I mean, there's this Kiwi Farms thread on me. You've been on the show many times. There's Kiwi Farms thread on other people that you've talked to. I mean, like you can't just say, oh, don't talk about this person. You know, it's kind of goes against. Did you ever the talk about the the Jay Caesar thing? I did <laughs> talk about that with Jim on on Monday. I thought actually. you were gonna Jim actually. Jim yeah, actually, actually did that too. Poked him on that a little bit. <laughs> yes, we did. We were. I thought you we were, were gonna just, be more bothered by that than you were. <laughs> no, nah, we were discussing. Uh, what was he? What was he talking Rome. about? Re, re, Rome the and, and perhaps show. perhaps recasting uh, with a black Caesar. And I didn't think about this till, <laughs> till the after the show. <laughs> I said I said that we we could not we absolutely could not do that. But I started thinking after the program, and there's one exception I'll make. If it's Idris Elba, then then we can do it. So that that was my thought after the show. Uh, now here's something that was a joke, by the way. But here is something that Zidane just tagged me with. I haven't seen. Where did this come from, Zidane? Do you want? I just got do a DM wanna, to me. Do you want to read this out? Why don't you read it? Uh, so this is apparently Gem Lee. Uh, they're my life i guess it's a site where people put up their information or whatever and uh, it says jem lee is 26 year old and was born 12 31 1991 currently they live in forest lake minnesota undefined currently works as a manager blah, blah, blah. their ethnicity is caucasian whose political affiliation is currently registered unaffiliated non-affiliated and religious views are listed as christian uh jem is now single blah 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 and it just goes list their family and stuff like that Is there a response you're looking for? Regarding I that? mean, I don't know. Is this 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 is what was sent to us? I don't know if this is the Jim Lee or or, or what's going on, but this is uh, what was sent to us. Also, this would be um, maybe older than the other Jim. I, yeah, I don't even know. I, I don't even know at this point. No, uh, I don't know regarding that uh, specifically. I mean, that seems. I think Forest Lake, Minnesota, is the correct the correct city. It would be in the thread if it's in there. Uh, but again, I, I actually, I didn't have any part in releasing the information. I'm just saying that regarding 
the the process and and me being frustrated it has very little to do with jim it has very little to do with the actual information i think the information is solid uh based on what it is it's just it's it's frustrating for me to see uh so much like energy from from the outside and from the inside at the same time i would say this is probably the first day since 2013 i did not enjoy running the site uh, every other day i i have a blast running it but the uh the uh internal disharmony regarding regarding jim and people saying like is it is it morally justifiable to dox jim because he was on a crusade against the furries it's like well you know the, the pendulum swings both ways it's, it's just a name uh you know you've been doxed i've been doxed everybody's sure. been doxed in this this realm and they, like i think i get it worse in terms of i mentioned this on the other stream like i've been swatted three times like people go after everybody in my family and i can't say that too loud because people will call me a hypocrite for complaining but um like in terms of getting it bad just from having a name out there, I, I get it pretty fucking bad and it doesn't affect my day-to-day -day life. I don't imagine Jim will have any, any serious problems. Uh, the one thing I would suggest is contact all your delivery companies nearby and tell them not to deliver unless you pay <laughs> online with card, like receive payment first. Like I feel so bad for the pizza guys that come with pizza. And it's like, I didn't order this. I'm sorry. I didn't get a chance to get in. Uh, Cole Dotha, you're on the air live on the kill stream. What's going on, Ralph? What's going on? And what's going on, Josh? Uh, so here's the thing. The the profile of this is, I was actually going to talk about what happened last night, too, but we'll start with this. Go ahead. Are you, are you still Basically, alive? Yeah, go ahead. Gives stock advice, or he's some kind of an economics guy. There's a video clip included in this thread of the Patrick O'Shaughnessy guy on Russia Today at some point giving an interview about stocks and bonds. Yet when I look up the address that's included in this docs in the apartment complex in Minnesota where this is, it's a dormitory style apartment complex built on a townhome format and the average rent is $8.99 to $10.25 a month. So why would a guy who is supposedly rich I, I don't know where this idea that Jim's rich comes from. I, like, I've never seen the page. It's included in this docs. It's in this thread. That's not me that's claiming that. That's the person that made this docs, Josh. There, that's not even the only inaccuracy. There's tons of them in here. On top of that, the idea that this name has been floating around for, for years. Like, okay, I get what you're saying, the verification about, about Jade, the thing I see that in here. But there there's so many... There's so many issues with that in and of itself. Voter records can be wrong, first of all. Second of all, Jade or Jim Lee if may not be Jade, and even if it is, that I'm person pretty sure the Jim, up the Jim you know. docs, the, the Jade docs is, is more concrete than the Jim docs. Saying that's not her. Okay, is that... I, and, and I don't know the details on that, but it's still possible that that's not her. What, but on what page that, does it say that he's rich at? I'm curious. I, I've heard this only on IBS. I've not heard it on the forum times in here i'll go through it more and and see if i can get back to you on that but they're insinuating that he's like we gotta see what they're saying doesn't that come from the office. bullshit investor name the investor guy? yeah but they but then they the guy is showing the video clip of him rt as if it's corroborating proof of him on rt but it doesn't Ooh, that person doesn't this? sound like, like him. I, I think it shows up in the thread as a joke but is it coming as as this is true this is jim because nobody's going to think that a 70 year old man who's an investment true. banker is fucking jim oh no not that one there's one of a young guy on rt that's that sounds very slightly like him although i think he doesn't sound anything like him that's being presented as corroborating proof it's a different clip than the one that we watched at the beginning of the ralph retort he was talking about regarding jim being rich and i don't buy that all right let me let me play this right now if you think about the environment in which we've grown up it has a huge impact on our brains so our brains are about twice as sensitive to losses and danger as they are to opportunity and gains so think about what we've been through two terrible stock market crashes 40 percent or more a housing crisis which brought financial ruin to a lot of those that we love so we have this impression um, and very low level of trust for the stock market in general we prefer this guy's name is Patrick so Oshana. Conservative things like cash. Well, it's James Patrick, right? Portfolios. Again, or, we're in 2020, I think, right? so it's it just should Patrick. be pretty aggressive. No, but, but I mean, Jim's name is, is well, allegedly. Yeah, that's his middle said, name. That's what you guys claim. Well, I mean, maybe he dropped the maybe dropped the James and just went by Patrick when he's on C CNBC. I mean, that's a theory, right? I mean, of course, I don't actually think this is Jim. You're ruining the joke. All right, let's continue at 31 seconds. 50% in cash, depending on the survey you look at. So okay, very so do you think it changes? And if it does, what is the tipping point? Um, 
I think it will have to change over time. I think that slowly millennials will build trust in the stock market as they start to see the long-term returns be more successful. I mean, even after a five-year, remarkable five-year bull run, still a ton of skepticism. There was a portfolio uh, uh, survey out the other day that said one in four millennials trust no one when it comes to money. So it's, it's still there, that skepticism. But I think it will abate over time. Now, somebody uh, just ruled it out. Uh, this might be true. They said Jim doesn't own a suit. So that could, that could rule it out right there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Got him. All right. Uh, let's take some more callers. Uh, God damn. We just keep getting into it every night. I don't know if you saw the episode last night, uh, Josh, but uh, <clears throat> that was a, was a barn burner. You didn't? I saw you in the chat, I thought. Mm-mm. Yeah, I, you I had did. no idea what you talked about yesterday. Maybe I jumped in for a little bit. I don't think so. I think I was playing Path of Exile yesterday. Nah, because you came in the chat and you said, I don't believe Worski. I saw you because you had a wrench in the chat. Oh, fuck. What was that about? What was he talking about? I remember I remember the him DMs talking. DMs and stuff. Talking. Yeah, the some people are accusing him of sending DMs to some underage chick or whatever. Yeah, I just remember that being a, a vacuous amount of words that amounted to nothing and being very confused by it. Well, he was pretty long-winded, but he did eventually get to to some of a point. All right, um, Counter, you're on the air on the kill stream. All right, guys. Hey, how you doing? Pretty All right, good. look. Um, at first, I was very skeptical about this information, and mainly because of Jim's video in the morning. But the fact that Jim hasn't said shit in the kill stream with the guy from Kiwi Farms and now we're seeing kind of this information come come to light. Look, just to set the record clear, all right, this uh, Patrick guy, that is James Patrick O'Shauna, whatever you want to call it. I think it's O'Shaughnessy. <laughs> whatever it is. Oh, Irish nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. thank you. All right, so, and if you go to the website, so you go to the Wikipedia page for the old man, it'll take you to the page of their business consulting firm, and then it'll take you to a profile for this guy. And that's how I found this video. So now what you're looking at is obviously TV quality production value. You're not looking something through a shitty, you know, Logitech mic. And you put this together, you put the evidence that already existed in the Kiwi Farms spread. And the fact that Jim has come on the kill stream to fucking talk to crackheads, but he won't talk to ki- this guy. Well, no, wait, we don't know that he won't talk. I mean, we haven't seen Jim today. I mean, sometimes he's around. Sometimes he's oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one time where, like, all his information is put out there. He but, just like, did a stream. Right wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. He just did yeah. a stream about it earlier and showed all this information on yeah, his channel. Yeah, but that was a Sargon of a car. That was a fucking His channel's toy 10 car. times bigger than mine. I mean, it's not like he's hiding he from the information. He a shitty video at, like, what, like 7 o'clock in the morning. No, an I, was, and then, I think oh, it was, like, 10 o'clock here. I'll be eight or nine. Yeah. yeah, and this is the last I'm going to be talking. Give me a break. That's a What's fucking he supposed cover. to do? He's not at our Come on the call. fucking kills. Come on the kill stream. What, he was there yesterday. What's he going to debate? He was, more, he was more than happy to talk to a crackhead. Yeah, and he mentioned the James O'Shaughnessy stuff even last night. Yeah, and he put on an Irish accent as well. <laughs> yeah, well naturally, <laughs> don't you, well, naturally, Jim's not going to come out and say, oh, yeah, that's me, guys. Please don't come to my house. Please, no just, more furries. That's just because really he's sad. not in the chat and not here tonight doesn't mean he's guilty. That's that's weird. And, and I can tell you, I'm dude, even if he guilty. comes on here and we have a little talk and say, well, they found this, and I think that's believable, like, yeah. it'll end in polite disagreement at best. I'm not going to have a shouting contest <laughs> with Jim. He's going to be like, oh, yeah, you got me, laddie. You, you got me, <laughs> you got me laddie. Oh, kiss People have been trying to steal me lucky charms all day. Well, yeah, that's what I don't get. What's he supposed to say? So, so you're say, assuming it's real, assuming it's fake. He's pretty much going to say the I'm, same I'm, thing either I'm way. Giving, like, I mean, it's I'm not... giving this thing way a little bit more credibility now than I did in the morning. All right, fair and enough. a lot of it is because of that crackhead. I, I'm, I just gonna have to press, I'm just going to have to press X to doubt just because this has been out there forever. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? I, I'm not saying anybody's in dogs, but I know that that's not true, but I just don't. I don't know. The, the thing that turned me is this fucking video. You put that audio... The way he's smugly chuckling uh, about millennials. You put that audio through a shitty Logitech microphone and you put a cap on that guy's face and it's fucking Jim. <laughs> I don't Case know about you, but uh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get a lot of great, uh, great Jim <laughs> photoshops out of this one. That's why. I'm telling you. And, and that's why. It's, it makes it worse. When he's not on the kill stream, it gets worse and worse and worse. 
because it's like a conspiracy theory. The thing is going to fucking balloon. Now he can go well, with it. He can try I to mean, play think... coy and, and cock tease and say, oh, no, it might be me, might not. Or who knows? It's not in the long run. It's not going to play out the way it wants it to. I mean, I would just, I'd probably have to disagree with that because I really don't know. I mean, you, you don't ever confirm or deny, really. That's that's kind of one of the rules I, I, that I didn't. It's actually, true. It's true. I didn't you follow see? this rule, but uh, you, you really shouldn't confirm or deny if somebody's putting he's, out he's, alleged he's info. Doing, you just, you know. He's doing all the right moves, but the problem is that other people are going to start to pick this up and it's going to lead to its logical conclusion, true or false. Well, if somebody, if, he, other... if he's in Minnesota, go find him. I mean, so well, what's that, stopping that's, you guys? That's, like, that's, 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 Groff, you're going to have plenty of content. You're going to have people I'm with phones chasing if, if this people, guy down. If people want to find somebody bad enough and, and they think they have a lead on it, you know, there's planes, there's automobiles, go find they're them. They're going to try to find Patrick and Sung Yi in the middle of the street. And yeah, I was going to say, how hard would it be to find a <laughs> fucking, you know. I can give you a promise. If I'm ever back in the U.S., I am 100% going to hear that fucking address completely unannounced and just be like, what's up? You're going to hear it. It's going to be like 50 furries, you, and then some other guy. Oh, Jim, yeah, I Jim, to, I have to bring Jim? my furry entourage. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, if you want, if, if it's so legit and it's there, well, go get on a plane. If you got a little well, money, got some time off, oh, go go find him. You don't I mean, think, he's, you don't think, you don't he, think he's an Jim Irish dude walking time. around with a fucking Asian girlfriend? I mean, I how hard could he be to find? It kind of sticks buy, out a little bit. Buy the right. chain. Don't forget. Don't forget. Buy a chain. It's got to keep her in line. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, it's just, it's, I'm it's enjoying just the theories funny. I'm reading in chat, by the way. Somebody's saying that Josh is Jade, and there's it can't be her <laughs> because no, there are no Asians in Minnesota. That's I love that. Point. Yeah, that was pretty funny. There's only like three Asians in Minnesota, so it has to be Jade. That wasn't that, that good of a point. All right, thanks, Ralph. Appreciate Thank you, it. Man. Appreciate it. Yeah. I don't know the whole. And no, is... again, I, I don't know if that's his current address, um, but I, I think he's definitely lived there in terms of what I've seen. He said he was moving to Texas. I hope he's in fucking Texas. Now, can I ask and you something? He... No, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish uh -huh. your thought. Finish your thought. Finish I was going to say, I hope he got a gun. He said he wasn't buying a gun, which I think is stupid. Now, let me he ask you something. Guns. Again, I, I press X to dial on almost, you know, I don't really think this is it. But, you know, who knows? Could be. The thing that I, I would ask you is, why put the why put the credibility of the site behind this and co-sign it and put the imprimatur uh, of the mods yourself you're here i mean you're here pretty much you know claiming it saying it's legit right now rather than just saying well somebody posted it you know that's what's there well, i can't say I, whether I can, it's true or not um i can say personally i've looked at it and personally i'm i'm fairly convinced by it and more than that the guy behind it again i'm going to name drop him is zed and zed i i don't think he's ever been wrong uh, zed docks brianna Wu and realize uh that this was blown up. I don't know that he did it either, but somebody linked me this video and said it would be appropriate to play this, uh, given, given what it all had happened. And I was sitting here thinking, what? Some crackhead was on here saying that they had gym stocks. I didn't even realize this stuff had blown up. I'm going to play it right now. Uh, I'll, there's no video to it, so I'll just play it off screen uh, with this sumptuous image of, uh, of uh, Medicare Investment Services on the screen. Uh, it's uh, James O'Shaughnessy Calendar Services. It uh, was put out uh, by... Uh, the Medicare Collective many moons ago. I don't even, what year is this from? Do we even know? I, it's old. Let's just put it that way. Very old. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, start it right now. Hey, do you like feet? Do you also like knowing what day of the year it is? What? Well, have I got the product for you? If you're like me, you spent many years looking for something that caters to your interest. Namely, what day of the year is it? And also, it can be very difficult to find these things. Sometimes, you'll find a calendar that tells you what day of the year it is. And other times, you'll find either feet or pictures of feet. But I have yet to find a calendar which features feet. Well, I've made it my life mission to combine these two amazing things. Namely, calendars and feet. After many years of research, dedicated to crafting the world's best calendar, to find the best pictures of fate, I have created my foot calendar currently for sale. Some people have asked me, Michael, why would you want to put fate on a calendar? Fate don't go on calendars. Puppies and kittens go on calendars. Fate go in shoes. But if you're like me, you like fate and you like to know what day of year it is. Well, why not? 
combiners do good things. I mean, there's nothing wrong with liking a pedicure foot. It doesn't mean that you have a foot fetish. It's perfectly normal to like a pedicure foot, to admire the soul and the arch of that foot, to admire the paint upon the nail of the foot. It does not mean you have a sexual attraction to the foot, merely an appreciation of it, of the smell of the soft, soft, oh my god, fate, calendar, calendar feet. I like foot calendars. <laughs> I like fate, just the fact that they're pedicure. That doesn't mean there's anything sexual about it. He likes it's feet. just an appreciation. A healthy appreciation of a foot. A foot upon a calendar. A foot calendar. And here, I want to offer you that. Your chance to own a wonderful calendar of nothing but fate. This product is sure to be of the highest quality. The highest quality of calendar manufacturing and fate. I'm currently taking orders for my amazing foot calendar. It will only cost you a measly, insignificant sum of $24.95 plus $4 shipping and handling. So if you want a foot calendar so you know what day of the year it is and you can admire a beautiful foot, contact me. Have a good day. And remember, it's okay to appreciate fate. It's okay to appreciate the human foot. Only twenty four ninety five, plus shipping and handling. But still, not that bad. And that uh, was James O'Shaughnessy Calendar Services. That video, it's risen by about a thousand views since last night. So we're not the only one uh, tipped off. But it, you know, it was great because I got to listen to it during work. So it gave me a like an hour, an hour and a half of uh, quick entertainment in the morning. He didn't seem so butthurt about it. I think he was making jokes of it. So is it real? Is it not real? I don't know. Um, who cares? Well. He's really good at handling the whole situation. Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, well, that's another thing I, I don't really. Ex so, and Josh is here. I don't know. He, he could probably, you know, throw some more light on it. But what? It, so, so say it's correct. What is he supposed to do? Just do a stream confirming it? And <laughs> hey guys, it's one hundred percent true. You got me. Here's showing my face. His, Here's, showing my his face. Here's my face. Here's my address. Here's my social security. And so it's like either he's this rich billionaire, fucking boomer who writes books about the economy and how to like invest money, or he's like a, a, a tight end for the Jaguars. Apparently, it has the same name. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I had a uh, Google talk from uh, from a James O'Shaughnessy. Well, Jim O'Shaughnessy. Uh, should I play a little bit of that? Maybe I should. I was going to start the show <laughs> off with this. Let me let me just play the first couple minutes of this now. Big if true, big if true. You have, we'll have to take this. This this would be a an epic op if this was if this was actually Medicare. But uh, let's play a little bit of this. O'Shaughnessy is here. He's written this fantastic book. Uh, that has stayed the test of times through good markets and bad markets. Uh, you're a value investor. You're an author par excellence. A value and investor. And we are so glad to have you here to share your experiences with us. Thank you, Jim. Terrific. Thank you. And I'm delighted to be using a Mac because I'm much more familiar with the Mac, so that's better for everybody. Um, I like to start these talks with a story that kind of illustrates some of the problems that we face uh, when trying to be good, active investors. Now, somebody in chat said, that's not Jim, that's his dad. Oh. James O'Sonnessy Sr. Now, that, could, that, that makes more sense, actually. Yeah, and I know Jim's, you know, a, was a little bit older than me, allegedly, so... But this would be about right. This man looks like a patriarchy type, patriarch type. And it considers uh, a fellow who dies. He's an Uber driver, and uh, he dies in a crack up, goes up to heaven and sees St. Peter and goes right past him because he sees Einstein sitting uh, at the center of this huge group of people. And uh, he waddles his way in, and, and Einstein says, hi, Albert Einstein, welcome to heaven. What's your IQ? And the driver said, you know, I have been trying forever 
to get a job at Google. And, you know, I just can't get in. I've been there three times. I, I Google the questions they're going to ask me. I think I've got it. Now, this guy's wit is right up there with Jim's, I have to say. All right, l- l- let's, let him, let's let him finish this story. We, we have to let him finish. Uh, 132. I know everything about physics. I know everything about electrical engineering. I know everything about computers. But they, I just keep failing the questions. And uh, Einstein, yeah, yeah, that can be hard. I know. I, I, I watch that group. They're very, very bright. Uh, I get it. Um, well, what is your IQ? And the guy goes, well, I don't want to brag or anything, but my IQ is 175. Wow. And Einstein goes, this is incredible. We'll be able to talk about you know, unified field theory, about string theory, about everything that's been going on in the world of physics since I died. Oh, my God, you wait right over there. I want to get in a conversation with you right away. You know, I want to figure this spooky action at a distance out. Spooky. Maybe you'll be able to help me out. Spooky. He points to another guy. He says, hi, Albert Einstein. Welcome to heaven. What's your IQ? And the guy goes, well, it's not 175. You know, I guess I... A bit average, right? So my IQ is about 120. (laughs) What is this story? Einstein thinks about this for a minute and he goes, well, okay, okay. Maybe we can talk about what's happening politically uh, down on Earth. And and maybe we can talk about what movies you like and if you're reading All right, well, you see... Papa Jim talks a little bit more. Wax is a little more poetic than than Junior, I have to say. Uh, let me see if he's going to get to the point within the next uh, calendar year. Hold on. Let, let me – 251. Thing which I probably highly doubt. But if you are reading something, <laughs> I really, really want to hear what you're reading. And and keep in mind, if it's something that is a pot boiler, I, I don't consider that reading. And the guy goes, <laughs> duly noted. Uh, and he kind of walked away dejected because that's really all he had. Um, points at the next guy, and he goes, Hi, Albert Einstein, welcome to heaven. What's your All right, IQ? Papa Jim, give and, us the, uh, uh, the so, punchline. What is uh, going the on here? Him and he goes, I'm not going to tell you. And he goes, Come on, come on. You're in heaven. You're going to have infinite knowledge. Somebody in chat said, I'll pause at 325, said this was Junior's favorite bedtime story, so I should quit being disrespectful. <laughs> and I should, I should let Papa Medicare finish. I'll, I'll let him finish. 325. Everything that the universe is, you are going to know as soon as you step through those gates. So it doesn't really matter what your IQ was when you were on Earth. Guy goes, he pauses, takes a deep breath, and he goes, all right, I make Forrest Gump look like a genius. My <laughs> IQ is 52. And Einstein says, so, what do you think the market's going to do tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that we all too often feel... I believe that that was the punchline. <laughs>